Hey guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Ali Reza here and in this one I'm going to talk about how we can use a trigger box in our level. In the place actors tab just type trigger and you can see that we have a couple of trigger volumes with different shapes and what they do is that when something overlaps with them they will give us an event node and we can use that in our game logic. Here I'm gonna drag a trigger box into the level and place it between these walls so when my character goes to the other side it collides with the volume. In order to use the trigger box to make some code just select it and then go to the level blueprint. Here when you right click in the event graph you can access the trigger box you made and for example in the collision section you can add a begin overlap event. Then let's cast to the third person character and now when our character steps into the box this will be triggered and we can use it in our blueprint flows. For example let's add the print string function to the blueprint and now you can see that every time our character goes into the box the print string function gets called. You can use the trigger box for a wide variety of game mechanics and it's quite handy in making game logic. For example, you can just kill the player when it goes into the box. Here just drag a wire and simulate physics. Then check the simulate option and then for the target, get the mesh component and plug it in. Then open up the third person character and select the mesh component. Here in the details tab, scroll down to the collision tab and put the collision preset on ragdoll. Now when I compile and play the game, you can see that when my character hits the box collision, it falls to the ground. Other than the trigger box, we have a trigger capsule and trigger sphere and based on your project, you can use different shapes in the level. Yeah, that concludes this video and I hope you learned something new from this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.